Well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Diane Canny, and I have the pleasure of being your host this afternoon for the Lake Forest College event. Uh, this is the virtual college exploration for all Ohio students. A couple quick housekeeping items to share with you, and that is if you'd like to ask questions, you will do so in the Q&A function. Uh, your camera and microphone are off intentionally, and they will be kept off throughout the session. Uh, we do encourage you, there are a lot of great sessions going on here for you students. We do encourage you to register at www.oacac.org and you can find the full selection of events there. And this recording will be available on that same website. Um, so we do encourage you to go out there. If you weren't able to attend uh, events uh, like this, you can certainly go out on the web and find uh, events for yourself. So with that, I will turn it over to our presenter, Franklin, and uh, I will come back on to say uh, goodbye later on. Franklin? Well, wonderful. Well, thank you very much, Diane, and welcome to all of you who have joined in this afternoon. Um, really glad that you've come to learn a little bit more about Lake Forest College among the, I'm sure, many great college options that you have. So just to kind of reiterate briefly, I'm going to share my screen in a moment and we'll walk through a presentation to help introduce you all to I think the basics of what makes Lake Forest a wonderful educational option. And then I will be reserving at least 15 minutes at the end of our slot for any questions you have, things you'd like me to recap. And again, I do encourage you to use that Q&A function really at any point throughout my presentation. And I will circle back around at the end and make sure that I cover all questions. Um, so without further ado, I think we should get started. I'm going to briefly share my screen um, and we're going to just sort of work through things slide by slide to again, sort of walk through the, what I think is an excellent experience at Lake Forest College. So for those of you that are maybe not too familiar with the institution, I want to be sure we do cover some foundational points about the college. Location-wise, we are 30 miles north of downtown Chicago, but are in many ways a true residential liberal arts college with around 1,600 students from almost 45 states and almost 100 countries. So for those of you who in your college search have considered wanting a smaller, more intimate campus experience, but also desire to be near a major city. We fit a, a real best of both worlds opportunity for our students. Um, and that student body is a primarily out of state student body. So you as Ohioans will certainly in many ways be in the majority of students that are coming to this campus in this community for the first time, um, you know, getting to, to enjoy all that comes with a, a diverse student body. And we'll talk more about student diversity later on. Two other pieces that have really been points of emphasis for the college recently that I'll elaborate more on later on are first off, a real eye toward affordability. We offer up to $30,000 a year in merit scholarship for any high school seniors that are currently tuned in. Um, and we really do invest heavily in career placement and career services with averaging a 97% rate of students either employed or in graduate school within six months of graduation from the college. So rather than just diving right into the, the general academic description, the general student life description, I instead want to help sort of I highlight what I think are four things that really make Lake Forest a unique option among liberal arts colleges and among colleges near major cities. Um, and I'm gonna spell out each four in a bit more detail, but I just wanna overview them as a, a pragmatic approach to the liberal arts, a real heavy emphasis on career prep and career exploration, um, truly the benefits of being a dynamic partner with the city of Chicago, um, and also having one of the most diverse colleges in the Midwest, if not in this country. So four things that I think really um, make us a, an excellent and unique option for our students. So before diving into what exactly I think I mean by a pragmatic liberal approach, liberal arts college approach, I really want to address um, what it means to attend a liberal arts college for students that may not be too familiar with what that term stands for just yet. It does not mean that you have to study art or theater or music. It also means you're allowed to be a Republican. So don't try to confuse liberal arts with one of those two things, but I interpret it as, as one of two things. It is an environment that is closer knit and that is you know, more heavily based on mentorship. Your classes will be small. The average class at Lake Forest is just 17 students at a time. Our largest class we offer is around 30 students. So if you enjoy a smaller classroom environment, you can very, feel very confident that you'll have that. you will have close relationships with professors. You will never have a teaching assistant at Lake Forest. It also means a really well-rounded education in addition to your major or minor. So regardless of what you choose as a primary course or courses of study, the well-roundedness of the college makes sure that you are developing key and core skills and competencies that will carry with you wherever you go. 
You're going to learn to be a strong reader, to be a strong writer, to be a great communicator, and to be a critical thinker. When you can do those four things effectively, a real wealth of career opportunities open up regardless of your primary course of study in college. Now, with that foundation of what the liberal arts is at Lake Forest, where we take things a step further from other liberal arts institutions is a really heavy commitment to real world application, as the slide says. And that means making sure students have opportunities to take part in internships, to conduct meaningful research, to study abroad in all parts of the world or country that are important to them, whether it be a domestic program like our In the Loop program that I'll, I'll talk about more later on, or one of our international destinations so where we send typically students to about 70 to 80 countries in a given year. We think this is so meaningful and important that we actually require it, we require it as part of your experience as a Lake Forest student. Not only because it's fun to do things that are, are meaningful based on your discipline of interest, but also because it really serves students as they begin to you know, consider the real world and consider what sort of career options they wanna have for themselves. So we, again, sort of to, to summarize, want to take your learning beyond just the classroom experience into ways that are really meaningful for you. Um, a second point of emphasis, like I mentioned at the beginning, is a real commitment to career services for our students. So one of the many reasons why folks like liberal arts colleges is sort of the ability to always find a person who can help you. That element of finding a person is excellently replicated and mirrored in the, our Career Advancement Center. We currently employ 11 professional staff in career services. That is double the national average of most institutions of our size. So you are assigned an advisor your first day as a Lake Forest student, and that person is really there to help guide you from an, you know, a first year student who has a variety of interests to an upperclassman who's preparing to take graduate examinations, take major, you know, um, pursue major interviews with employers and, and really prepare for life beyond college formally. Um, the other thing that we did that's very helpful is created a series of meaningful pathway programs to help students better sort of initiate the, the professional search process. Those pathways are in law and public service, communication and creative arts, science and healthcare, business and finance, and a build your own pathway. You can be in multiple pathways, but the pathways are really an amazing opportunity for students earlier on in their time in the college to still gain meaningful insight from alumni, from employers, from potential internship opportunities as well. And because of our proximity to the city of Chicago, we can really host under normal circumstances a, a myriad of meaningful and big events for students to get a lot of experience on campus. Um, the little photo right here is from our speed networking event where we have over 300 prospective internship and employers that come to our campus to essentially host a huge set of mock interviews for our students to get them a lot of um, experience and it's open for students at, at all four years at Lake Forest. Um, I would also be remiss if I did not discuss uh, our relationship with the city of Chicago. Um, we really do see it as a second classroom to our third largest city. Logistically, Chicago is very easy for our students to access. They can take a, a five to minute, 10 minute walk from our campus to the downtown area of Lake Forest and hop on the Metro train, which is our commuter rail line. That train will take you all the way directly into downtown Chicago in a little less than an hour, although there are many stops along the way that are shorter that still can put you really in the, in the mix of things if you're looking for that more urban experience in addition to campus life. Um, you know, for many students here, you may have never been to Chicago before. You may not feel comfortable yet navigating uh, public transit in Chicago. Um, and we really take that into account when we work with new students. One part of our orientation program every year is actually Chicago Day, where we take the entire freshman class with um, faculty advisors and staff into the city on the train themselves to make sure that all students are familiar. We also lead hundreds of class trips into the city for a variety of reasons, whether it be theatrical productions, art installations, research opportunities. Um, there are so many ways to get into the city as well. So you'll definitely, um, I think, feel comfortable navigating it in a short time to campus. It's also a place for great fun. Um, we have a Center for Chicago programs that their entire job, in addition to kind of promoting city access, is also advertising fun events. So for students that would want to go to a Cubs game, would want to go to the Art Institute of Chicago, would want to go try out a cool coffee shop or restaurant, we're going to help promote those things for you as well as you sort of settle in more to the Chicagoland area if it's less familiar initially. The last thing that I'll touch on with the city of Chicago is our In the Loop residential program. This is a really unique program where the college actually maintains a residential space on the 15th floor of a high rise building in downtown Chicago. So about 40 students every semester will live full time in apartments furnished by the college downtown. And that building will also include an academic center and a gym and all the other sort of things that you would need as a 
a resident in a city, and you'll either take classes with Lake Forest faculty that will come down to you to teach courses, or if they're cross-listed with other partner universities. The one great guarantee though is a 20 to 25 hour per week internship that is guaranteed as part of this program. So for any of you students watching who have thought, I really wanna try downtown living out. I really am interested in living in the city before I were to, to move there full time or take out a lease. Um, I cannot recommend this program highly enough. It is a, a very exciting opportunity that's available to any student after their first year at the college. So you have, for most students, about six semesters of eligibility to try out the program. And then the last piece I touch on for kind of the big four is really the diversity of this institution. And I mean diversity from a lot of different lenses. Um, I initially talked about sort of our geographic diversity that we have most states and almost 100 countries represented both domestically and internationally. But um, taking that a step further from a, a racial and ethnic standpoint, about one third of our students are identified as domestic students of color. About 14% of our students are international students and almost one third are Pell eligible students, which means they come from the bottom one third of or excuse me, the bottom 20% of, of wealth profile in this country. So for any of you students watching who, you know, have thought about wanting to go to a college where you will meet people from different walks of life or have different experiences, Lake Forest is really a place where you're going to find that and those differences are really celebrated. We um, really do think that the diversity of our institution is special and it sort of shapes the unique student identity as a result. So um, we can definitely talk about any more four of these things later on. But for now, I wanna switch gears and and talk a little bit more about academics at Lake Forest to make sure I cover that base there. So we offer about 50 academic programs at Lake Forest and in terms of thinking about flexibility of our curriculum, I typically tell students that we are certainly on the, the more flexible end in sort of the spectrum of colleges and universities in the country. Across the entire college, you can have up to two majors and one minor or one major and two minors. And over half of our students at Lake Forest will double major. So we really do encourage those students um, to, to deeply pursue those unique interests. Um, an example of a student I always give is a, a 2020 actually graduate um, from uh, Flint, Michigan, who was a music major, a biology major, and also minored in entrepreneurship. During his time at the college, he undertook a science cancer research one summer. He was the principal trumpeter at the college, and he also ran a small fashion line out of his residence hall. So I say this not to say you must be this type of person to have a great experience at Lake Forest, but you can be this type of student um, if you feel that your interests are, are really diverse and spread and you, you don't want to sacrifice any of those things during your college years. Um, we do list some of our most popular majors every year on the screen here, but what I want to talk about as well are, are two key points that are, I think, also really unique to Lake Forest. Number one is our self-design major. Many colleges offer a self-design major, so in that way we're not terribly unique, but it's in fact quite heavily utilized during their time at the college. So for any of you students watching who have a, an academic interest that may not perfectly fit into our major listings here, um, we come with a lot of flexibility with our faculty to specially curate majors based on students' overall academic interests, professional goals, if they feel they're going to be successful um, in the academic environment that we offer at Lake Forest. The last piece that I'll touch on in this slide is our first year studies program. Um, it is the one class that every single student like Forrest takes. It is taught during the fall semester of the freshman year every year and it is one part uh, an introduction to collegiate level reading, writing, and research. We want to be sure that students have a really great and successful transition to the college um, but also we're all taught in different subjects from across the sort of in, across the entire college curriculum and all have a Chicago related focus to them. So they all include a class trip. They all include sort of unique opportunities to get off campus. But your first year studies instructor will also act serve as your academic advisor for your entire first year. So you, you really will have a person who you meet during the summer between the end of high school and your beginning of time at Lake Forest. And that person will really get to know you and help you as you kind of make your way onto campus and begin to establish perhaps more you are as a college student. So we really feel that that relationship is, is very important during the student's first year. During this, from a student life perspective, there's, there's really so much to talk about about what makes the student life such a, a fun and engaging sort of part of the, your experience at Lake Forest. So in case I've not explicitly addressed it, we are a heavily residential liberal arts college. About 85 to 90% of our students do live on campus. So um, that residential piece is, is really huge, both from a 
where our students are coming from, but also what are they doing during their downtime when they're not in classes or doing homework. Because we are so heavily residential, um, campus life is really vibrant at all days and hours of the, of the night and during the weekend on the weekends. So we have about 80 clubs and student organizations ranging from Greek life to religious organizations to academic clubs to um, really everything under the sun. I'd be happy to talk about more programs if any of you students have particular interests. But a couple other points to mention are that um, we, we um, really do encourage a culture of athletics, whether you are the captain of the football team or you're just someone that, you know, occasionally wants to find their way into a treadmill every few weeks to, to stay in shape. About half of our student body will participate in some form of athletics at the college. And it's also not even just limited to students. Um, I, as a staff member, play on a very bad um, faculty and staff basketball team that competes in the intramural league every winter. So the entire community does like to get involved. Um, but I also want to highlight a few, you know, really unique kind of large scale events that the college hosts. So I, I've talked a bit about kind of the, the smaller communities that really exist, how easy it is to get involved with them. But there are also big events that we want to gather a, a critical mass of the community. Um, one that I'll, I'll highlight because it's on the screen right here is Forrester Day of Service, for example, where um, we cancel classes one day of every semester during the weekday and really encourage the entire student body to engage in a huge variety of service projects, either locally or throughout the greater Chicago land area. So this um, student community and the campus community as a whole really do love to come together. Um, but we have other fun, huge traditions like our homecoming weekend that has thousands of um, alumni and current students on campus for a weekend football game and a parade where the streets are closed down and you get really a, a great sense of fanfare and community there as well. So I am um, hope this is a, a, a basic primer of student life at Lake Forest, but I'm happy to talk more about residence life, about clubs and organizations for any students that do have questions. So that's my, my general overview of, of the college as a whole and so what it's like for, for any seniors who are here, I do wanna take a moment to walk through a little bit our application requirements about when we are, are expecting to receive applications and um, how a, a financial picture of Lake Forest can look as well. So from an application perspective, we really hope to remove as many barriers as possible from the admissions process. Um, we, um, for all first year students, can be found on the Common Application or a Lake Forest application that's on our website. Um, both require an essay, but both do not have an application fee. So we do not require any sort of payment to apply to Lake Forest College. Um, and additionally, we do require a high school, a official high school transcript and, and at least one recommendation letter, although we will accept up to two. Um, for students that are wondering about standardized test scores, I know this has been a complicated question for many of you throughout the year, and I, uh, my heart goes out to those of you that haven't been able to test yet, and it's been a stressful process. We want to remove that stress, very frankly, at Lake Forest. Um, we have not required a standardized test score since 2006 as part of our admission process, so we are and have been test optional for quite a long period of time. Um, the only extra piece is that if you do choose to um, apply without a standardized test, we do ask that you complete an admission interview. It's about a 30 minute conversation with myself or another member of our admission staff. Um, but they are meant to be very lighthearted, very friendly, and more of a get to know you conversation. So even if you are applying with standardized test scores, an interview is still very strongly encouraged for admission. Um, let's see here. Um, and just sort of a, a brief overview of our deadlines for the admission process, we expect um, students to submit for early action one and early decision one by the 1st of November. We also have a second round of early action and early decision on January 15th and a final um, regular decision deadline of February 15th. So I know it's just September, you all have lots of time, so I don't want to add too much stress and anxiety to the timing of your college application process, but um, do be aware that you do have some deadlines in the, the not so distant future coming up. Um, the one thing that I do also want to make sure I take time to talk about is cost and scholarship at Lake Forest College. Um, you can easily look up our tuition and fees cost on the website, but one thing that I really do highlight is the level of transparency we wish to communicate to families in the college search process. Um, many institutions have historically made scholarship numbers very cryptic and very hard for families to get a read on, and we would instead like to communicate a little bit more directly. So this um, chart for scholarship can actually be found on the financial aid page of our website. What I tell families is that this you know, necessarily can't be treated as the word of the law, but it's helpful to be a, a general indicator for families wondering what their scholarship levels might be should they think they're going to be admitted. Um, please also note that just because there are test scores on this slide here does not mean that there is any um, 
risk of reducing your merit scholarship should you apply without test scores. Students that apply without test scores are equally eligible to receive the full level of merit scholarship as students that do not submit them. So um, don't be afraid if you're not submitting your test scores that you will receive a lower scholarship. We're always very clear to, to communicate that to families. Um, I'll plug this a little bit more at the end, but for those of you that enjoyed what you heard today, you're interested in Lake Forest, um, we are open currently for both virtual and in-person visits. So if you do feel safe driving to campus, we do offer a limited number of in-person visits daily to come see campus, to meet with members of the admissions staff and other folks who are available on campus. Um, we are also able to offer a wonderful set of virtual experiences. So for those of you that would like to talk with the current student, meet with an athletic coach, can, you know, connect with, with faculty at the college. All of those are available as well. And even though our um, student body themselves are learning remotely for this semester, we still really want to open up the campus community to you as much as we possibly can. Um, I wanna talk about one more set of things and then I wanna hear from you all and answer any questions that have come up. Um, but during a time of turmoil for a lot of institutions and for a lot of folks in higher education, Lake Forest is going ahead and developing a lot of exciting things that we think are going to really benefit our students in the future. The first off is the Brown Hall renovation. If you are to look up an aerial shot of campus, you'll see this very large yellow Victorian style brick building um, that is sort of our signature academic building on campus since the 1870s at Lake Forest. It is currently in the midst of a $20 million renovation and expansion that will be completed by the fall of 2021. Inside of it will include over 30,000 square feet of new classroom and academic spaces in addition to a new home for our career advancement center. And it will be a LEED Gold certified building. So it'll meet one of the highest standards of sustainability and construction um, that can be achieved today. Point number two that I mentioned, um, we have launched a varsity lacrosse program that will be starting in the fall of 2021. So if anyone here is a prospective lacrosse player in college, um, both coaches for our men's and women's team have been hired and are actively recruiting players. So I would be happy to connect you with any with either of our coaching staff or talk to you a little bit more about the program. It does come with a brand new million dollar um, turf field that has just been constructed and lines put down over the last few weeks. So a very exciting new space um, for those teams are coming to campus. The third thing that I think will actually touch the largest percentage of our students is our brand new health professions program. Um, this is a distinct partnership with Rosalind Franklin University, which is a sort of uh, comprehensive health sciences university that's about three miles from our campus that will include direct admission programs in over eight professional fields ranging from nursing and physician's assistant to biomedical sciences and pharmacy and nursing. Um, also will include um, guaranteed research opportunities for medical with the medical school over the summer and a number of medical lectures um, given by the Rosalind Franklin faculty on our campus. So for students considering health sciences or health professions, this is an excellent time um, to be considering Lake Forest. And then last but not least, we actually launched it in the fall of 2019, but I want to bring it back up again because it has now sort of more of a full year under its belt is our new major in data science. So for any students here that are interested in, in trends and careers that come with data, the Lake Forest data science major offers specialized tracks in finance, statistics, and mathematics and computer science. So you really are able to take a, a liberal arts college approach to a very quantitative heavy study and the ability to to interpret data and become a storyteller with that data is a heavily in demand career field right now. So we're very excited to watch that program continue to grow. Um, and with that, I'm going to stop for just a moment. I'm going to stop sharing my screen at least briefly. Um, and I will open it to any questions that are, are in the Q&A. So if you have been watching, you have any questions you'd like for me to talk more about, I would be happy to, to answer them now. Um, in addition to any questions, I would be happy to review anything I just went through because I, I went through a pretty good amount of information in that period of time. So I'd be happy to re sort of rehash anything I went through and also go back to any of those slides if anyone would like to see any of those again.
see a question has come in. So it's a great question. So uh, we were asked, what are some of the most popular activities for students on and off campus? So very good question. So in terms of on campus activities, um, a, a few come to mind right off the bat. Um, in the fall, I, in sort of in the winter months, especially, I will say like, it's a little cliche, but like sports games are actually pretty well attended. Um, our football games average about a thousand fans for every home game. And in the winter, um, we have an ice rink on campus. So the men's and women's hockey games are very fun to join. Um, besides that, um, from like more of a, a broad social perspective, every month the college hosts um, programs called ACPs. They're all campus programs that are put on by our Gate Center, which sort of helps run all of our student organizations. So they're big social events that are often hosted on campus, but some are off campus too, that are open to the entire campus community. So, um, you know, before finals week, they do a giant paint party. It's like a big de-stressor. Um, they have game nights that are available as well. And then lots of individual clubs also host their own events too. Um, another example that comes to my mind is I'm actually the faculty advisor for our Relay for Life chapter. Um, and Relay for Life every spring has literally over half of the student body will come and take part of it during, I think it's like April of every year. So um, lots of big events on campus. In terms of off campus events, um, this can vary widely. Like the big one that comes to my mind is sort of the winter ball that is kind of like an, an ACP event that is hosted usually in, in Evanston or which is a town kind of between downtown Chicago and Lake Forest or in the city itself. Um, and in terms of other off campus events, there, I, I kind of like to say there's no one thing that our students are doing off campus. We have students that will go explore and find cool coffee shops. We'll have others that will go to street festivals. Um, many, all students are actually able to go to the Art Institute of Chicago for free as part of your enrollment at Lake Forest. So students will go to the Art Institute all the time. Um, we really do encourage students to do big excursions off campus, but also downtown Lake Forest is just a five minute walk away. So if you and your friends would ever want to um, go get dinner in town or go walk around and kind of get a little bit of a break from campus, which is always a good thing no matter what college you attend. Um, you have a, a very nice town that's a short walk away and you also have the Lake Forest beaches. So we have public beaches that are about a 10 minute walk away the opposite direction of town that are really fun to visit for most of the months of year on campus. I, I can't say it's the best place to go in January um, when school has just started back and there's snow on the ground, but otherwise um, the beaches are very popular as well. It's a great question. And so I can take any other questions as well. That was a very good one before though. Well, um, if there are no other questions, which is totally okay, I, I do want to thank everyone that joined this session and who came in to learn a little bit more about Lake Forest College. The last thing I'll add actually is just sort of um, a bit about our students from Ohio that come to campus. So we typically average about 15 to 20 new first year students from the state of Ohio every year. So for the, so almost regardless of where you're from, we typically pull students, of course, from the three large metros in Ohio, the Cleveland, Columbus, and Cincinnati area, but also pull students from all across the state. So if any of you so watching are wondering, you know, will I be the only student from Ohio? Where else do Ohio students come from? I also welcome you to, to message me as well. I'll put my information back up on the, on the screen here. And um, you're welcome to reach out to me individually to um, learn more about who comes to Lake Forest. I'd be happy to connect you with current students from the state of Ohio on campus as well. Um, we have some some excellent students from the state that have done really well on campus. Oh, looks like that skipped ahead there. Thank you, Franklin. And for students, uh, I just wanted to uh, come in to close up the session and to let you know um, 
sorry, can't uh, get my slides to uh, advance here. There we go. There will be a quick survey that, that pops up for you students um, after, you, after I close this window. It's very quick. We would appreciate your feedback on this session. And certainly we want to encourage you again to sign up for more sessions at www.oacac.org. And of course, as I mentioned before, this recording and all others will be available for you at www.oacac.org. Thank you for joining us tonight. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.